In this video I'm going to be showing you how to attain the value of a text input component in React through the page re uh, refresh. So as you can see, I'm going to type in some uh, data here, just random. Refresh the page and yeah, as you can see, it's still uh, been retained, information's been retained. It's been, as you can see, it's been saved in local storage here. Uh, and that's how it works, so I'll be telling you how to do that in this video. Stay tuned to find out. Okay, so here we have just the basic input here, which is centered on the screen using Flexbox. And we've increased its width and height, so it's quite large. We can type what we want in here. It doesn't matter, because when we refresh, it gets deleted, because obviously it hasn't been stored in local storage yet. That's the purpose of this tutorial. So... First thing that we're going to do is we're going to transform this single input uh, component into a controlled component. So the first thing that we're going to do, since we're using functional components, mm -hmm. we'll import use state. And then we'll just create the value now. At the moment, it'll be an empty string because it was the, the element will start out with nothing uh, assigned to it. So on change will be uh, it will take in it will be a callback function which has event here and to set value event.target.value so now the value will be whatever uh, we typed into the input and it will be updated with new additions uh, and then to make it a fully controlled component not just one that updates the value stored in the state we need to actually receive the state value as well so to do that Simply, the value will be the value, and again, all this is fine, but it still it still doesn't refresh when uh, we refresh the page. So the way that we're going to do that, we're going to use uh, a custom hook actually to do this. It will have the same basic functionality as the use state hook, just with the addition that will that it will also save uh, and retrieve the state data, which it oh what. Well, i.e. the input data into local storage. So we're going to create it now. Uh, we'll call it use local storage. And then first we're going to import react and use state because again, like I said, we're going to be building up from its basic uh, functionality. And then we'll export as to default point, uh, default export. At the moment, sorry. There we go. I've got it correct now. And then, so at the moment, what we need to do is we need to replicate the functionality of the use state. So the way that we're going to do that is very simply. We'll call it vowel so it actually works. And then all we're going to do is return value and set value. So now if we import use local storage, and uh, Again, this will be exactly the same thing because what we're passing an empty string, this empty string gets used in the use state, which gets assigned the value and set value 
and then it just returns these to here. So it literally does exactly the same thing. At the moment it's use state, because we haven't added the local storage functionality yet, uh, which we're going to do now. So what we're going to do actually, to save data into local storage, well, there needs two requirements. First of all, it needs to be JSON. And second of all, it needs to be key value pairs. So the key will be that name at the moment. The value will be an empty string, so obviously there's nothing in it initially. And then we need to reflect those two arguments in our custom hook. Okay, and then now our uh, use state needs to be actually a callback function. Because what we're going to do, we're going to call uh, a separate function. No, sorry, we're not going to call, we're going to return uh, the values from this custom function as the state, basically. You'll see why in a second, we're going to pass in the same argument. Again, we're just going to because we haven't actually created that area yet. Sorry, that function. So we'll create it now. Alright, and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get whatever's been stored in local storage. And the way that we do that is default JavaScript object, local storage, and then get item. How do we how do we know which item to get? We use the key. However, this is currently in JSON, we don't want JSON, we want JavaScript. So we're gonna pass to convert it into JavaScript object from JSON. And then we will assign this to a variable. Next thing that we're going to do, so if save value, we're going to check to see if save value has been initialized with value, because if it has, then that means that it's not the first time that we're saving uh, data into local storage. So therefore, value needs to be retrieved uh, and be displayed in the input element because there is values that has been saved. So return save value. If the, if we can find uh, data in local storage, if not, then we're gonna say return initial value, which is, well at the moment it's just an empty string. Okay, and, and because this function only gets called once when we refresh the page, this use state here, which either either returns an empty string or returns whatever we saved previously. This is how uh, it saves data on. The, the data is retained for refresh, because every time you refresh the page, basically, this function gets activated. And value, because of that, value either gets assigned save value or initial value, which then gets assigned to the input, which is how its data is retained on page refresh, but, to, but the final thing that we need to do is actually to save uh, save the data into local storage every time we change uh, the value, and the way that we do that is we use the use effect hook, which gets, triggers, which gets triggered after the end of every uh, render cycle. which allows us to cause side effects, like saving data to local storage. And then what we need to do now is uh, local storage .set item, and we pass in the key, and the data will be JSON stringify value. The reason why we do this is because initially, uh, when we refresh the page, Value will be assigned the result of get saved value, which will either be the returned data from the previous time before we refresh the page, or if this is the first time they're on the website and we haven't actually inputted anything yet, it will just be an empty string. Every time we update value, it will get saved in the use effect. So this, this won't get... Uh, rendered anymore unless we refresh the page but this will 
every time uh, we change the value. And we're going to specify this now as by putting value as a dependency. We also need to put key just to make sure it's complete. Value is the most important one because it means that this will get triggered every time value is changed, i.e. every time we put in a new value into the input element. And we know when values change because, again, set value is its on change uh, event handler. And that's how I hope this makes sense, but hopefully we're going to try it out now. So we're just going to save this, refresh the page. Again, yeah, it's, 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 it's been saved. And again, another cool thing that we can do is we can actually go into uh, local storage. And as you can see, it's got the, it's got the key of name, because remember, here's the key here. The value is an empty string initially, but every time it should be updated, because remember the unchanged event handler. And then we're going to say this. Yep, so it's been updated. Uh, yeah, and I hope this helped. As you can see, it's updating in real time when you refresh the page. Again, because remember, this is how... So, so it will return the save value this time, because it has actually been value saved. Because save value does contain some data, which in this case will be, this is really cool. But then, when we want to type in something like A, This is really, what, why is it working now? Alright, so I don't know why it wasn't working then, but again, like I said, this... Yeah, as you can see, it's been updated again now. I don't know why Firefox was just a Firefox bug. Yeah, so when we type in A, as you can see, new value, it's updated. It gets updated because of this here. Use effect because value has changed, so therefore it gets triggered. And it saves the value. And yeah, I hope this made uh, sense to you. Again, like I said, this, is, this code here... The custom uh, hook is quite complicated, so if you have any troubles then don't hesitate to ask me how it works in the comments below and I'll be there to answer any queries that you might have. And yeah, I hope this helped. Peace out.